The world is changing. The new normal is here. Step out of your comfort zone. Explore the possibilities. Create your future and expand your mind. Start your journey to a life of impact without limits at the ALCC Virtual Worldwide Breakthrough Convention 2020, October 7th through 11th, with hosts, Doctors Festers and Antonio Adeyeye, and guest speakers, Pastor Matthew Ashimaloa, Bishop Tudor Bismarck, Dr. Bill Winston, Dr. Mensa Otabil, and Apostle Stephen Horford. Music by D. Jones, Kevin Downswell, Jumbo, Joe Meadow, and the New Dimension Choir. Your journey to a life of great possibilities begins here. ALCC Worldwide Breakthrough Convention 2020, October 7th through 11th. Welcome to Abundant Life Christian Center Church Service Online. We are so happy to have you. Thank you for joining. Please share with your friends and share with your family so we can all take in on this new experience of faith, of favor, and of fellowship. Enjoy the service. Hey, blessings to you. Welcome to Faith Over Fear. Well, I know some of you will be wondering, is this really faith over fear? Because where well, one, you don't see my wife. In that he's saying, brother, money. Well, this is the first episode to be done by one person. My wife, the prophetess, woke up this morning. She told me she is led in her spirit for me to handle it alone. Well, the Holy Ghost is here, and I've learned to agree with my wife um, in whatever the Holy Spirit uh, is telling her. Well, listen, it's going to be a great day. Of course, I'm going to miss my wife very, very much. I'm going to miss my son. But blessings to you all. Uh, get ready, get ready, get ready for a life-changing, uh, a life-transforming experience with the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we go into the Word and ministration, wherever you are, try and call your friends. Um, send this link to them. And tell them this is the hour that the Lord has prepared to start your week with massive impact. Massive impact. Can we pray right now? Father, we just worship you wherever you are. Join me to worship God. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be exalted. He is worthy to be magnified. Can you thank him for your life, Jesus we magnify you. Thank you for this night month. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your faithfulness. It is your appreciation that is your application for the next level. With your appreciation right now, why don't you apply for your next level? When you thank God for what he has done, it qualifies you for what is here to be done. Lift up your voice and lift up your hand in appreciation of who God is to you for what God has done. Father, we honor you. We give you praise. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for our families. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for the health. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for, your, for, for honoring your prayers in our lives. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for keeping us alive. Thank you for nations. Thank you for gradually bringing an end to this pandemic. Thank you for restoring order back into our lives, into your churches all over the world. Hey, thank you for your sons and daughters locally and globally connecting with this program. Daddy, I praise you on their behalf. Bless us this morning. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and give and gave him thanks. Amen. Amen. Well, today I'm going to be speaking to you, you know, powerfully on receiving the grace of fruitfulness. Receiving the grace of fruitfulness. Remember, every victory in life comes by faith. And this platform is there to sharpen your faith, is to build you up so you can have victory. Because the Bible says, this is my victory that overcomes the world, even my faith. So, receiving grace for fruitfulness. Come on, say, Heavenly Father, I receive grace. I receive the empowerment to be fruitful 
from now in the name of Jesus. Come and say, Father, I reject, I refuse every form of barrenness in my life in the name of Jesus. Why don't you lift up your voice to heaven and say, Father, baptize me now with the grace of fruitfulness. Baptize my family. Baptize my household with the grace for fruitfulness. Barrenness, go. Fruitfulness, come. Barrenness, go. Fruitfulness, come. He labels satire. Barrenness, go. Fruitfulness, come. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask this day that your grace of fruitfulness Rest upon everyone in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 9. He said, the Lord your God will make you abound in all the work of your hand. Say amen. In the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock. Well, you know, those days they were agronomy, so they had livestock. But whatever you do now, it will be increase of your job, the increase of your business, in the increase of your labor, in the increase of your career, and in the produce of the land for good. For the Lord will again rejoice over you for good as he rejoiced over your father. My God, I am praying today. As God looks down upon you, he will have gladness over you. He will rejoice over you. Even when you look into yourself, you will have multiple reasons to rejoice in the name of Jesus. I am praying that my heavenly Father will bless the work of your hand. Come on, say amen. You are going to hear that prayer over and over today. The work of your hands shall be blessed by God in the name of Jesus. The ninth month is a month of new birth. It's a month to birth new things. And I've been reinforcing it on every platform I've ministered that this is a month that God will birth new things in our lives that will give us new songs. This is a month that God will birth new things in our lives that will give us new songs. You know, after the lockdown, it may after a prolonged lockdown, I keep hearing the Spirit of God saying to me, this is the season that my people will birth new things, new ideas, new careers, amen, new levels. And there shall be reversal of everything going in the wrong direction. God said, tell my people to begin to declare that the worst is over. Come on, declare that right now. I know it's not too early for you. Come on, say, Father. I declare over my life, I declare over my family, I declare over this land that the worst is over. She can't tell about the worst is over. The best has just begun. The best is here. The best is here. The worst is over. The worst of pandemic is over. The worst of affliction is over in my life. I step into a new season. This is my moment to expect to sing new song. Hallelujah. I am believing God that you receive grace for fruitfulness today. My Father will release on you grace for fruitfulness through Abrahamic covenant and by redemptive covenant. Every child of God has a heritage of fruitfulness through the Abrahamic covenant. God made a covenant with Abraham. Amen. And God said to me, Genesis 17 and verse 6, He said, I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings will come out of thee. I will make you exceeding fruitful. So in the DNA of, Ab of Abraham, amen, in the gene of Abraham, there is no barrenness. What you have is fruitfulness in the spiritual DNA of Abraham. And everyone connected. God said, I will make nations and kings to come out of you. You hearing me today, you are the, you are the seed of Abraham. Hallelujah. And because you are the seed of Abraham, kingship rules in your blood. Royalty flows in your blood. Uh, and what works in Abraham's life works in your life. You say, Pastor, how do you know that? Galatians chapter 3 verse 29. You say, if you be Christ, you are Abraham's seed. And here is according to the promise. So whatever promise of God upon Abraham by covenant, you are the heir to it. You are the, you are, you are the one that has the right 
of inheritance to that. So in your spiritual DNA, in your gene, in your spiritual gene, amen, you have fruitfulness. Barrenness is not your DNA. Come on, say that. Come on, say barrenness is not in my DNA. Come on, say dryness is not in my DNA. What do you have? Fruitfulness runs through your DNA. So every form of barrenness today, I command it to be terminated. I am asking God of heaven, the one that sent you to this earth to terminate barrenness for you in the name of Jesus. What does it mean to be fruitful? To be fruitful is to produce good results. <laughs> to produce good results. Good success. God told Joshua, he said, do not allow this book of the Lord to depart from your mouth. He may meditating and now and at the end he said, you are going to have good success. Good. There are good, there are su- bad success, and there are good success. Amen. There are some success in life, they are not good, they are bad. But when God walks in your life and makes you fruitful, your success shall be good. Your success shall be good. What does it mean to be fruitful? It means to be profitable. To be profitable. Hallelujah. Now this, you make profit. There's no liability in your life. But profit comes out of you. Profit comes out of whatever you do. Right? Some people in life, whatever they do, it, 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 it crashes. It may crashes. And there are some people, even if you give them feces, if you give them human dogs, if you give them anything irrelevant, when they lay hand on it, it, become, it begins to work because there's a grace upon them that makes it work. I'm praying today, Mazota Pranasa, the grace to be fruitful, the grace to be profitable in whatever you do without loss. Profit, 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 profit. What does it mean? To be fruitful, it means to produce fruit in abundance. To produce fruit in abundance. There are some trees that ought to produce fruit. They produce scanty fruit. And there are some, you get them, my God. You see fruit everywhere. A label satire. From now, by the grace of Jehovah God, you shall begin to produce fruit in abundance. You shall be profitable. You shall experience good results in the name of Jesus. What does it mean to be fruitful? It means to be productive and fertile. To be productive and fertile. Amen. There's no, there's no, there's no barrenness in your in your mind. There's no barrenness in your life. You are fertile. The anointing of fertility. There are some ground that they don't produce. And what do you do? You fertilize them. You buy some fertilizers, you put into them, and whatever you grow on that land begins to generate massive harvest. Kalebo Sotaya, fruitfulness, the grace of fruitfulness is a divine fertilizer that comes upon your life. So whatever you do, you become fruitful. You become fertile. Amen. In abundance, super abundance provision, super abundance, amen, resource, super abundance harvest. That shall be your experience from today. Come on, say in the name of Jesus, I shall be fruitful. Come on, say in the name of Jesus, from this day, I shall produce good results. Amen. Come on, say in the name of Jesus, from this day, my destiny is profitable. From this day, my destiny produce amen, fruit in abundance. From this day, I shall be productive and fertile. Every spirit of barrenness, of dryness, of scantiness, of nothingness is out of my life. In the name of Jesus, come and say, whatever makes for dryness and scantiness and barrenness in my life, I cut you off in Jesus' name. So shall it be. Amen. The first creational blessing that God invoked upon man was the blessing of fruitfulness. When God made you, When God created the first man, out of which you came out of, the first blessing that God pronounced upon that man, God didn't say, have money. God did not say, grow taller. God didn't say, have a house. God did not say, well, I I say, have a car. No, 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 no. The first blessing that came out of the mouth of God upon mankind in Genesis 1, 28, God and the Bible say, and God blessed them. How did he bless them? He said to them, be fruitful. Be fruitful. 
and multiply. Replenish the earth, subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over every living thing that moves upon the air. Then look at the first blessing. Be fruitful. Kalebo satire. I pray today that as God release our blessing, Upon mankind, when he created us, may that blessing be activated upon you, activated upon your family, activated upon your destiny. I decree today that be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, be fruitful mentally. Be fruitful in your family. Be fruitful in your career. Be fruitful in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, that pronouncement was so potent. And so powerful, amen, on, on, on my kind that every, every invention, the progress in civilization, everything you see today, amen, came out of that word. Amen. Everything, the, 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 uh, the transportation system, the, 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 the plane that we're flying, the internet, everything, everything that man, mankind has been able to achieve came out of that world. you never see anywhere where God say, uh, have gold. you never see anywhere where God say, where God told the people in the Bible, I want you to have Aaron plane. Uh, I'm giving you, I'm giving you, I'm giving you uh, cars. Never see where God said, I'm giving you houses made of, that, made of stones. No, 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 no. Inside that creational blessing, be fruitful, amen, Airplane was inside. Be fruitful. Transportation system was inside. Be fruitful. Financial system was inside. Be fruitful. The internet system was inside. Every achievement of men, of mankind, came out of that blessing. That is why this is very, very important. That's why I am standing in agreement with you today. Enough of dryness. Enough of barrenness. Enough of no productivity. I pray that my Jehovah God shifts you into a new realm of productivity. A new realm of higher productivity. Super productivity. Higher abundance. Be fruitful. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. There are three causes of, of, of unfruitfulness. Jesus said it in Matthew 19 verse 12. I'm going to identify those three sources. Then I will tell you five areas by which God wanted to be fruitful. And I'm telling you, beginning from this day, mark it this day, the day you are listening to this program, your fruitfulness in those five areas, my God, we take a leap. One young man came to our ministry one time as a business person. She said, and, and after a few months, she just came to me and said, Pastor Freshers, he said, before I came to your church, I was financially barren. He said his business was so off-key, dry. He said he never had a blessing of having money retained in his hand. He was living from borrowing to borrowing from borrowing. He said, sir, I don't know what happened. Since I joined this ministry, hearing your word, putting them in practice, amen, uh, praying, joining, coming to the prayer meeting, and, and, and putting those words in practice. He said, first thing that happened was he didn't know of his mind. He knew how to appropriate the word of God over his life, over his business. He said, sir, I don't know what happened. He said, God moved him from a life of borrowing <coughs> to a life of lending. Can you see that? God shifted him from financial dryness to financial fruitfulness. Hayemo Sotaya. You have heard it. God is no respecter of person. What God does for one, he does for the other. And I pray today that my Jehovah God, the I am who sent us, he told us that whoever is connected, each day of his life will be full with joy, will never be dry. I pray today this never dry grace. Never dry covenant that God gave to us. We begin to walk in your life. From today, no dryness. No dryness in your finance. No dryness in your, in your life. Roma Shaka. There's somebody you are watching me right now. You've been having a heart murmur. Heart murmur. I think you were diagnosed. I, to be kind, I, I'm seeing six. Six months ago. Doctor told you, you have heart murmur. And it bothers you a lot. If that's you, I want you to type yes. 
uh, right now, type years ago, the angels delegated to minister with us. They are going to identify you. Be right there right now. And I ask that those angels locate you. And that heart murmur ceases right now. Stops right now. God of heaven, you sent forth your word, your word healed. I am asking for you to locate this person. Let that heart moment go right now. Yes, some of you be having nightmares. I'm not talking of just having bad dreams. No, very scary nightmares that you shake, you, you wake up, and you see yourself sweating. Type yes right now. Yes, right there. Calibo issues came. I see something is crawling in your body. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Calabar, everybody be praying in tongue. The Holy Ghost is moving all over. I see the presence of God moving all over. Here, there's somebody watching me from Barbados. Yes, yes. There's St. Lucia also watching. Ribasa, Katali, Doroba, Sikata, Yera, Kerabrana, wherever you are right now, God locates you. Yes, each skin crawling in your body. Rima, Katai, and as I said, somebody you have problem with government. The government of your nation, you have problem with them. God is, is pulling you out of it. Father, I bring all these things together. Lord, liberate your people. The things revealed, they belong to us. The hidden things, they belong to you. You reveal them so we can do something to them. Today, I am asking that grace be laid upon these conditions. Hey, it turns to testimonies. In the name of Jesus, those conditions turn to testimonies. In the name of Jesus, constant headache for the past three days. Put your hand on your head. Oh, my Zora Basha, Father, locate this person. Let the headache disappear. Every evil load upon your head goes right now. Irema Kopalish, Romazike To Maria, Yegede Soprona, Jesus, Son of the Living God. In Lebo Zotaya Mara, move, touch that head, let head it go. Ah, Yerebo Sataya na Sotaya Marosaya, Peluka Pali ni Sotaya, Ekerebo Shayaba. Yes, that panic gone is gone. Yerebo Saya, fear, go, faith comes. In the name of Jesus, huge depth, as if we are going to be crushed. God takes away that depth from your life, Jehovah takes away that depth away from you. In the name of Jesus, oh God, my God, I'm seeing so many things. Kalababa barana sote prenosh, rena satapa, ah, chronic arthritis, chronic arthritis. Your joint is so stiff. Ah, seroma sekaya, type yes, type yes. Today, grace locates you. The arthritis go right now. Jesus, you are the healer. On the cross, you took our infirmities and our weaknesses. By your stripe we were healed. We are still healed right now. I am praying for you, my brother and sister, that arthritis go right now. Yereba stiffness in your bone. Go right now. In the name of Jesus. That business will flourish. Yes, that business will flourish. In the name of Jesus. Briefly, three types of sources of barrenness, unfruitfulness, or fruitlessness. What are the things that cause fruitlessness? The first is foundational problems. Amen. It is your root that determines your fruit. It is your root that determines your fruit. Sometimes changing your name does not change your lineage. Changing your name does not change your lineage. Does not change your family house. <coughs> Amen. I have seen people with potential who ended up as problems. Listen to me. Terra Abraham's father. Amen. The first, the, the meaning of that name means delay. He delayed Abraham from leaving his father's house. That's that spirit in that fa um, family house. Is I mean, delays. It's a spirit of delay, spirit of premature death. So much problem in that family that 25 years of delay in having Isaac. Amen. There are some things that operate in families. I call them bloodline generational limitations. They operate in some families. You know them. They run in the family. It can be untimely death. It can be unfruitfulness. That no matter what they do, they don't flourish. They don't prosper. We have seen so many that God has used us to deliver them. They are family oriented. They are bloodline disease. Today, 
That is why the blessing of being in Christ. He said, Christ has redeemed you from the cause of the law. Because, let's look at it now, that verse 29 of Galatians uh, 3, it says, if you are Christ, you are Abraham's seed. That is, when you change your root, you have changed your fruit. When you change your root, you change your fruit. When you change your spiritual root, you change your fruit. Today, as many here, that you are connected with Christ, you are no more in your natural root. You are no more in your natural, you don't flow out of your natural lineage. You have changed destiny. You have changed your spiritual DNA. May your new DNA begin to walk in you. May Jesus, may Jesus begin to produce fruit of abundance, fruit of joy, fruit of financial increase, fruit of physical increase in the name of Jesus. Wherever failure that runs rampant in your blind natural lineage, because you are in Christ, Hey, my satire by Anna Sotaya, receive grace for eternal time. Come and say, Father, come and say, in the name of Jesus, because I am in Christ, I cannot be in crisis. Come and say, in the name of Jesus, because I belong to Jesus, I am Abraham's seed, therefore I'm supposed to be a king, I'm supposed to be a ruler, Fru and fruitfulness flows out of me. In the name of Jesus, come and say, in the name of Jesus, by reason of being in Abraham, and in Christ, I reject barrenness. I flow in fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. The second one, some became unfruitful by the actions of men. By the actions of men. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 2. He said, and they may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For not all men have faith. Not all men have faith. There are some unreasonable, wicked people. You are not looking for them. They are looking for you. There's nothing you've done. They're just unreasonable. Forty men, they took oaths. They took oath that they will not rest until they destroyed the fruitfulness of Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul was a fruitful man, making waves, taking territories, expanding the kingdom of God. Forty men took an oath and they say, until we destroy his fruitfulness. <laughs> I don't know what, what has been set against you. The Bible says God takes the crafty in their craftiness. He disappoints the devices of the wicked. That their hands cannot carry out their evil enterprise. I don't know any evil enterprise and that the wicked has conjured, conspired against your fruitfulness. God disappoints them. God shatters. I am asking that God of heaven, you see your people right now, every conspiracy against that man, against that woman, against that boy, against that girl. My father, I am praying, destroy that conspiracy. There was a woman, I prayed for her. So, some people in the, SEC, in, in the SEC church, they know her because she gave the testimony in one of the services. Her business ran down. She wasn't making money anymore. Flourishing business suddenly stopped. And she had to go and take employment job outside. And she came to me to pray on a Sunday. As I finished praying in my office, God said, somebody gave her evil money. Somebody used evil money to pay her. And that was the reason why her fruitfulness in business stopped. And I, God said, pray. And as I released prayer, my God, that very Monday, things turned. Business turned. Fruitfulness came back. Hallelujah. And she has become, she has since be, uh, be fruitful and fruitful and increasing in fruitfulness. I don't know any, any, any satanic affliction against your fruitfulness. Today, by the blood of Jesus, that efficacious blood, the Bible says we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony, be it generational, be it foundational, be it a curse, whatever it is, I ask today that the blood of Jesus destroys it. Today, everything done against your fruitfulness is caused, is canceled. In the name of the come and say, Father, I break away from every family line, bloodline limitation, human orchestrated limitation, satanic orchestrated limitation. I break away from it in the name of Jesus. Koroba Shatab, the third one, some people, they made themselves unfruitful by their actions, 
by their behaviors. I trust you today. You are not a lazy person. The Bible says, see a man diligent in his business. Ah, he shall sit with kings. He shall be fruitful, not with men, men. Today, I know you will make up your mind to give your destiny all it takes. You will not frustrate your life. You will fulfill your destiny. Your fruitfulness in mind from today, laziness goes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hard, hard working. Amen. The spirit that works hard. Amen. Comes upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Seven, let me, five places God wants you to be fruitful. And I will pray for you. Five places God wants you to be fruitful. The first is God wants you to be fruitful in the fruit of your hands. The fruit of your hands. I want you to receive that. The fruit of your hands. What does that mean? Whatever you do, your labor. Things you, you apply yourself to. Psalm 90 verse 17. He said, let the beauty of our God be upon us and let him prosper the work of our hands. Kale Sotoya, my God of heaven. By your word, prosper the work of our hands. Prosper the work of the hands of your daughter. Prosper the hands of the work of your son. Prosper the work of the hands of everyone watching me today in the name of Jesus. That church, prosper it. Yeah, that pastor, the work of God in your hand, I am praying that God will prosper it in the name of Jesus. Kele soto pranigetosayamakore. Inavi sutali ketosa. God, prosper the work of our hands. Every shame, shackle, tie people's hands. Today, Father, break it. Let it break. Let it break. Let it break. In the name of Jesus, from today, may the work of our hands begin to prosper. Second area is the fruit of your womb. There are some people when they talk of fruitfulness, the only thing they know is the fruit of the womb. Truth be told, God wants you to be fruitful in your womb. Not only national womb, even your spiritual womb. Because as some of you are hearing me now, you say, Pastor, I ain't going to have no babies anymore. I'm done having babies. So I'm not talking. It may, fruit of the womb means you have babies. For those who are still in that age range, you decide. And you, there are some things you must conceive, ideas. You must conceive. There are some of you, you, you must carry the destiny of nations. You carry the destinies of your children. You carry the destiny of your family. You carry the destiny destiny of the work of God. God wants to use as a midwife to, to conceive and give birth to the destinies of nation. God wants you to be fruitful in your womb. Psalm 127 verse 3. He said, children, they are the fruit, the fruit of the womb. They are the reward, therefore. See what God said in Deuteronomy 39? He said, it will make you to abound in all the work of your hand, the fruit of your body. So whatever comes out of your body, should be fruitful. That includes your children. Everything trying to make your children fruitless. Cancel from today. <laughs> I touch in agreement with you, sister. I touch in agreement with you, brother. Every attack against the seed of your body, your sons, your daughters, to rob you of their glory. Today we attack the attacker. We arrest the arrester. That spirit that's taken over the mind of your son. Today I arrest you. Come and say amen. I arrest that spirit. Kopalinasa. Jesus, son of the living God. I pray that you will touch this family right now. Touch everyone that the fruit of his or her body is attack. First, the seed of your body as your son, as your daughter, that is attack. Today, I ask my God that the seed of your body shall be fruitful, shall be fruitful. Listen to me. It's your heritage that whoever comes out of your loin should be fruitful. Ah, did you receive that? It is your heritage. Whoever comes out of your line, he says that, Abraham, I will make you great, and your seed shall be great. They shall be kings, and they shall be fruitful. They will multiply. Amen. So from Abraham, even to Jesus Christ, and to you, amen, fruitfulness flows through you. Alemo sota pranikotosa. So you have the heritage, and your seed must be fruitful. Your body should be fruitful. Sicknesses destroy from your life. You carry the grace and the DNA of fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Number three, the fruit of your thoughts. Psalm 92 verse 5. He said, oh Lord God, how great are your works. Your thirsts are very, very deep. 
your thoughts are very, very deep. Your thoughts, as a man thinks, so is he. Some people think to poverty. Some think to thought of death. Some think, they think the thought of poverty, the thought of going down. Their thought is about little, little, petty things, devastation. But some, they think the thought of greatness. Amen. In their thoughts, they give birth to destinies. In their thought, they give birth to multi-million dollar ideas. In their thought, they create their future. From today, your thoughts shall be fruitful. You have that, you have that, 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 that mandate, that heritage, that your thoughts shall be fruitful. The Bible says you have the mind of Christ. Hallelujah, Master. First Corinthians 2, 16. He said you have the mind of Christ. The mind that created the world. Your mind is not stupid. Your mind is not dry. Your mind is, is, is not, uh, it's not, it's not a, it's not a downtrodden mind. No, no, no. You have the mind of Christ. Society will want us to believe that we are empty. We have nothing. Hear me, sister. I'm just hearing the word of God, my brother. Just because you didn't make A, you did not make A in your class, the storm in your mind is dull. You have the mind of Christ. May God fatalize your mind. From today, you will produce ideas. From today, ideas that will make money. Ideas that will bring progress. Ideas that will profit you. Profit your family. Profit the kingdom. May it begin to flow. Come and say, Father, let my mind be fertilized by your Holy Ghost. Come and say, I have the mind of fruitfulness. Roma Zakata. Come and say, Father, my mind is fruitful. My mind is fruitful. My mind is fruitful. Idea flows to my mind. In the name of Jesus, number four, the fruit of your mouth. Ha, my soul, take pose here. Proverbs 18, 20, the new uh, international version says, From the fruit of their mouth, a person's stomach is filled. With the harvest of your lips, they are satisfied. Can you see? From the fruit of your mouth, your stomach is filled. Your stomach represents, so to say, your life. And with the harvest of your leaves, they are satisfied. By reason of fruitfulness, the words of your mouth should edify. The words of your mouth should make progress. The words of your mouth should build your life. From today, I pray that God will put words that are potent, powerful, profitable, amen, edify into your mouth. Make a decision. That you begin to speak words that will build yourself. Amen. Make up your mind from today. Don't ever tell yourself you are stupid. Don't ever tell yourself you cannot make it. Don't ever tell yourself you are going down. Don't ever tell yourself nothing good is coming out of this life. From today, <clears throat> when men say they are cast down, what do you say? You are going up. You are blessed. You are fruitful. The rebels are even God. Call it those things that be not as though they were. Use the words of your mouth. Amen. To rewrite your destiny. To rewrite your life. He you said he sent forth his word and his word heals. Kalababara no satire. Words build destiny and words destroy destiny. But from today, you begin to speak words that are fruitful, that will bring fruitfulness over your life. And I join heaven today that my father will release fruitfulness over your life. With this mouth, I pray. I decree today, you will not go down. You are going up. You shall be fruitful. You shall be fruitful in your, in your hands. You shall be fruitful in your womb, in your body. You shall be fruitful in your throat. You shall be fruitful in your mouth. And finally, you shall be fruitful in your spirit. Hear me very well. You are first and foremost a spirit man. Everything emanates from your spirit man. Amen. And more so, when we talk about the fruit of the spirit, it's your character. It's your character. Listen to me. There are some fruitfulness that, that some people, they are barren because they lack character. Not because people are against them, but because they, they, they don't know, they don't have the right attitude. They don't have the right character. They lack appreciation. They don't know how to appreciate. They don't know how to thank people. They, they think they have arrived. Amen. But when you have the fruitfulness of the spirit, people want to be around you. I mean, when people, when they meet you, the, the impression you leave on them, they want to elevate you. They want to point to you. They want to bless you. I pray today that the grace to have godly character, amen, that the Holy Ghost will produce fruit in you, fruit of, of, of godly, fruit of meekness, fruit of humility will flow out of your life. Come and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I am fruitful in the works of my hands. Come and say, in the name of Jesus, every shame, every shackle, 
tying my hand breaks from today. Jesus has set me free. I am free indeed. Whatever I lay hands upon, it prospers from today. Come on, say, Father, I am fruitful in the fruit of my body. In the name of Jesus, I'll conceive ideas. And those who are, who are waiting for the fruit of the womb, I decree today by the power of Jehovah God, the one that said, let there be no one barren in his house. Oh, shalaba. Everybody online, let's pray. For one second, for those who are believing God for the fruit of the womb. God specializes in answering our prayer and the breakthrough family. And he will do it for you today. He will do it for your, for your cousins, for your nephews. I am master for anybody in your family waiting on God. God said, let there be no one barren in my house. No one will cast their young. That is no, there's no timely birth. There's no premature birth. There's no miscarriage. Today, Ah, Father, let the spirit of miscarriage be destroyed. Barrenness be destroyed. That man, that woman, that couple, they have been waiting on you to experience the fruit of the womb. Bet your word comes true for them right now. Whatever is a medical issue, Father, nothing is too hard for you. Remove it. Block that hole. Father, that blockage, remove it. In the name of Jesus, that fertile sucking demon. That sucks, baby. Father, let an end come to it. In the name of Jesus, every curse they place on that woman, on that man, let that curse be, re- be removed. Bodies shall be fruitful. Even human, the bodies of men, they say, a man, Father, may God breathe into your body and your body will become very, will become strong and potent. In the name of Jesus, you shall be fruitful in your thought. Calibo Sotapra. From today, the thought you will generate shall be ideas that will produce fruit of your mouth. Calibo. So when you speak, it shall bring grace. When you speak, it shall bring honor. When you speak, it shall bring increase. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you one thing as I'm trying to close. Dream, 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 dream. Your dream is a vehicle that carries your fruitfulness. Your dream is a vehicle that carries your fruitfulness. A dreamless person is a fruitless person. A dreaming person is a fruitful person. Your dream is a supernatural picture of who you should be and what you want to do. Your dream is a picture of your future planted in your heart by your by the Holy Ghost. Where are you going? Where do you want? What's God telling you? Until you have a dream, you can never be fruitful. A no future ambition can never be fruitful. You're not just flowing with life. You're not just going like everybody. No, 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 no. Honey, I pray for you today. You wake up with dreams. You go to bed with dreams. Hallelujah. I don't know what has happened to your dream right now. Though it may tarry, begin to wait for it. God says, this is, these are the days for you to conceive. Conceive new dreams. Conceive new dreams. See yourself the way God sees you. God took Abraham out. He said, count the stars in the, in the sky. If you're able to number them. Amen. Abraham conceived the picture. Today, begin to surround yourself with pictures of what God wants to do in your life. You don't need money to start a business. You need a clear dream. You need a clear vision. Write it down unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly beyond what you ask or what you dream, or what you imagine. God is not only committed to your prayers, He's committed to what you imagine. (laughs) He's committed to your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations. I'm here today to tell you, don't give up your hope. Don't give up your aspirations. Don't give up your dream. Where there is no dream, people perish. Don't give up your dream of own that of owning a house. Don't give up your dream of having estates where you will where others. It is it may look impossible. It is possible. Don't give it up. Don't give up your dream of becoming an employer of labor. God is sending me to you. Don't give up your dream of having a family. Don't give up your dream of having your own children. You are able to be fruitful to have it. Don't give up your dream of financial bonus whereby you are going to be able to help people. Don't give up your dream. Don't give it up. Let there be hope in you. Where there's hope, there shall be a way. Where there's hope, there shall be a way. If you can dream it, if you can dare it, if you can dare it, you can do it. If you can dream it, you can dare it. If you can dare it, you can do it. Because with God, all things are possible. Can label so tired. So this is a season to dream big dreams. It's a season to dream big dreams. Bigger churches. Big soul winning. 
Dream dreams that will bring souls to the kingdom of God. Nothing increases your fruitfulness when you are sold out to the kingdom of God. Amen. When you are sold out. When, when Ruth was sold out, she wasn't thinking about herself. She was thinking of how to be a blessing. Amen. To Naomi. That lifted her to a level of fruitfulness that no one has ever enjoyed in her lineage before. Be committed. Let me say, Father, in this season, I want to expand your kingdom. I want to expand your kingdom. Areba Sotapaya. Dream big dreams. Don't give up your dreams. If there's energy you're going to leave this morning with, don't give up. As you go to your places of work, maybe you're at your place of work now, or you're getting ready to go, these, these are the days to ask God to implant, to plant new dreams in you. Big dreams. Big dreams. And ask for grace to take covenant steps in agreement with your dream. Take steps from today. Stop being afraid. I rebuke fear in your life. I ask God to release boldness in you and release boldness in me. Today, everyone hearing, may you receive the boldness, receive the supernatural enablement to begin to take covenant steps in alignment with your dreams. No more, no more fear. No more, no more fear. No more panicking. Be bold. Rise up. And take what belongs to you. Rise up and do what heaven has ordained you to do. This is a new day. It's a new season. Yes, it may tarry. Wait for it. Halebo so tired. Kayama so tired. Failure is not final. You might have failed before. Now, this is a new beginning. As you go this day, as you commence this new week, this is your season of fruitfulness. Come on, say in the name of Jesus, I shall be fruitful. I will not be barren. Hey, am I so tired? Come and say, Father, every seed of barrenness, every seed of barrenness in my life, in my blood lineage, today by the grace of fruitfulness, that seed goes. I receive fruitfulness. I shall be fruitful in the work of my hands. I am fruitful in the, te- in the thought of my mind. I am fruitful in the words of my mouth. I am fruitful in the fruit of my body. I am fruitful in my spirit. Everywhere I go, everything I do, I shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. What am I saying? Begin to walk in your f- blessing mentality. You cannot think broke and expect to have fruitfulness. Think big. Think abundance. Think fruitfulness. You are the son of Abraham. <laughs> There's no broke person in Abraham's lineage. No, 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 no. There's no broke person in Abraham's lineage. Nobody is dry. There's something. You have the DNA. You have that gene. You say, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Today, by the prophetic connectivity, I, re- I release grace upon you. It may stand in the word. Stand in the word. Stand in the word of God. Stay in the word of God. Your fruitfulness is the word. Hear me as I'm closing. Whatever the word of God does, when you stay in the word, that's what you do. That's what you're able to do. Whatever the word of God has a capacity to do, when you stay in the word of God, the capacity of the word becomes your capacity. Unfortunately, most people, they stay in the world, W-O-R-L-D, and they move away from the word of God. That's what the Bible said in Psalm 1, 1, Psalm 1, verses 1 to 5. That's where I'm going to close and I want to pray for you. Blessed is you, hearing me, who does not walk in the step of the wicked or stand in the way of the sinner or take the seat in the company of the mockers, but whose delight is in the word of the Lord. That person is like a tree planted by the stream of water, which yields its fruit in season. Can you see the picture of fruitfulness? And whose leaf does not wither? Whatever they do prospers. But the wicked is not like that. See? Stay inside the word of God. Feed on the word of God. Sing the word of God. Speak the word of God. Believe the word of God. Move inside the word of God. I'm telling you, whatever the word does, that's all you're going to do. Whatever the word of God has the capacity to produce, that becomes your capacity. From today, I release you to the ever-increasing increase, ever-flowing increase, ever-abundance dimension, ever-producing dimension, ever-fruitful dimension of finance, of career, amen, in the fruit of your hands, in the fruit of your mind, in the fruit of your body, 
in the fruit of the words of your mouth from today. No more dryness. God spoke to us at the beginning of the ministry. He said, I place upon you a never dry covenant. And whoever is connected will never run dry. Today I shall connect with this grace running upon the Brito family. Never dry covenant. You will not be dry. You will not be dry in finest. You will not be dry in the fruit of your body. You will not be dry in the works of your hand. You will not be dry in ideas. You will not be dry in the words of your mouth. From today, fruitfulness shall be your experience. Come and say amen. From today, super abundance shall be your experience. Come and say amen. I told you, from today, you shall be profitable. Come on, say amen. From today, you shall produce fruit in abundance. Come on, say amen. From today, you shall be productive. You shall be fertile. From today, you will produce good results. In the name of Jesus, I am hearing the voice of God. Somebody you are going on an interview this very day. Type yes there. This is a special day to go for interview. Can you see? That interview is in your favor. It is in your favor. So shall it be. Two people this month, before it ends, you have immigration. Uh, I think one is virtual interview. I'm not saying clearly. You, are going, you have something to do with your immigration. God said those two people, <clears throat> type yes there right now. That immigration is in your favor. What the case that has been closed, that case opens up and you are going to have favorable results. In the name of Jesus, I pray to you today. May God bless you. God honors you. May God be, cause his face to shine upon you. May he beam the light of his favor upon your life. May the angels of God be released in super in supernatural dimensions, corrupt innumerable measures, legions of angels, uncountable measures to surround you like a shield, to guide you, to 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 to, to, to underguard you, to lead you into prepared blessings, in prepared places for prepared breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Failure is canceled in your life. This is your season of abundance. Be blessed to God be the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm waiting for your testimonies. Send it to testimonies at alcministries.com. Send your testimony. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting because you are going to return with testimonies. Testimonies at alcministries.com. Or you can send it to faith over fear at alcministries.com. If you have questions or anything bugging your mind, you can send it to faith over fear at alcministry.com or ask Dr. Festus at gmail.com. Wow, I am waiting to uh, hearing your testimony. Once again, greetings from my wife and my son. Enjoy your day. Make it a blessed day. Don't forget, tomorrow is our youth power hour. You have any young one in your house, <laughs> you don't want to miss it. God is on the move. Move with that move. 7 p.m. on this platform. Bring your young ones. When I mean young, I don't know how young. Because young may be from five. Depends on how grown your child is. And don't underestimate amen, their level of maturity. Somebody can be five years old. They may have the mind of 20 years old. I'm telling you, the things they know, as early as possible, bring them and let them sit and sit with them and make sure they listen. Amen. When the word enters, light comes. Praise the Lord. Friday is our power night. Destiny Restoration Night. My God. He just, just the mention, I'm sensing the shift that's going to occur. Amen. And Sunday, I mean Saturday, Pastor Antonio in the, in the prayer. Amen. Be blessed. Be favored. Don't forget tomorrow, register for the service. Register for the service. You're going to get the link. And as we're preparing for our convention, my God, Pastor Matthew Ashimolo, Dr. Bill Wilson, Apostle Alford from Barbados, uh, Dr. B. Wilson from Chicago, uh, Bishop Tudor Bisma from Zimbabwe, and Dr. Mensa Otterbill from Ghana, and myself, Woo! and all the uh, guest artists, New Dimension Choir, Joe Mentu from Ghana, uh, Jumbo from Baltimore, uh, D. Jones uh, from Houston, then Kevin Danswell from Jamaica. My God, what else do you want? October 7th to 11th. You cannot miss it. Get ready, be prepared. I'll be praying for you. The Lord bless you. Enjoy your day.